This is Patrick Richardson reporting for the Cherokee County News Advocate and SEKVoice.com. I guess possibly I should use these. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to say that a few more times before I um, go to my seat. <coughs> need to share something that's not on this paper, but it's in my heart. As I sit and my granddaughter is dancing on my lap, there has always been great music in this place. Agreed? All the <laughs> Always good music. And the food always been good. <laughs> that was good too. I want to thank the Hall of Fame Selection Committee for, uh, I'm not sure how all of this transpired because I'm supposed to be on that committee. <laughs> so I, I kind of tried to quit figuring it out, but um, Columbus has had many exceptional <laughs> athletes, and exceptional teams that have had great success. I don't know if I'm deserving, but I sure am honored to be among those. There's a quote that I'm often reminded of, and it's, um, it's far better to deserve an honor or an award and not receive it than to receive one and not have deserved it. All I can say is I will try to live out my life and honor this. It's not in this moment. And I'll try to honor those people who love and not disappoint the people that somehow think I am deserving. So I uh, just want to share that with you. I want to thank my family. I want to thank my family. I want to thank my family for being here. Mom said, you've always been there for me. No. Don't quit now. Okay. <laughs> My husband, John, uh, I've had one love in my whole life, and uh, we share a passion for athletics and sports. And, uh, I understand there's 14 recruits. He's, in he's a recruiting coordinator at Pitt State, running back coach. And there's 14 recruits on campus as I speak. I know. And, uh, my children, I don't know how many times they've gone to ball games, and, and uh, I've come home late. Nikki's here, my eldest, and uh, I come home late one night and from a tournament and I go in and kiss them goodnight and I kiss her on the cheek and I said, good night, Nikki, babe, and I think she's asleep. And I said, I love you. And she turns and she says, but mama, do you love me as much as you love your other girl? <laughs> well, I know they've sacrificed. She knows I loved her as much as them, but she also recognized how much I cared for those young women that I coached. It's a time investment, but it's well it's been well worth it. I've struggled to know what to say tonight, and then I finally realized this isn't about me. This is.